Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Here, class number three. How are you tonight? I am sick. Are you sick? Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Your stomach? No. Um, grip, grip. Oh, okay. You've got the flu. No. <laughs> okay. But are you feeling under the weather or you got the flu? Uh, no, 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 understand. Ya es gripe, gripe. Ah, yes, yes, ya yes. Se desarrolló. Ah, eso es get the flu. I get got the flu. The... Mm -hmm. I got the flu. I got the flu. Mm -hmm. I got the flu. Si solamente tiene síntomas, entonces usted puede decir, I feel under the weather. I feel under the weather. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Hello, Edwin. Welcome. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. <clears throat> I'm fine, but the weather is so hot. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I think it's going to rain or something. Uh, did you feel uh, the tremor? Yes. You felt, you felt it? Okay. Yeah. Got you scared? Mm, so sorry. It was kind of long, a very long time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No se asustaron. No. No. I was working. Oh, I... so you were working. Okay. Yes. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was kind of long. And yeah, I felt it. It was kind of hard too. Mm -hmm. Kind of scary, but okay. Here we are, guys. We are going to start the class tonight. Welcome, everybody. Today we have our class number three. And uh, we are still, well, we are going to study about the product life cycle along the module. But today we want to talk about the preferences, okay? How to talk about preferences between two options or a, if you prefer something, okay? If you prefer something over other things. Um, also, if you prefer to do something, right? So those are different concepts and different structures that we want to learn today to talk about preferences. Um, we know that when we use the modal verb would, usually we are mm, expressing ourselves in a very formal language, in a very mm, polite language, right? And we have learned that would is an auxiliary or it's like a modal verb, right? It's a modal verb. But today we are going to learn that would and rather together, would rather, is going to be helpful to express um, preferences. What's your choice or offering a, in a very polite manner? It's something that we used to do every day. So I hope everybody is ready now and we are going to start a class. Hi, Jose Miguel, we missed you yesterday. Yeah. I had a familiar trouble yesterday. And for that oh. reason, I can. Okay, you had trouble with uh, personal and, situations. 
with my son. Oh, to, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry, but now you are back. So let's try to think just unstressful, to, uh, unstressful along this class. All right. Welcome back. And I hope your son get better. All right. Okay, people, we are going to call, uh, no, we are not going to call the road right now. Please, at 8.20, remind me, remind me, please, at 8.20. So let's start this class by saying what we want to study, okay? So the topic for tonight is how to use would rather. Let's give me one second. Yes, would rather. Remember that with would and different words and companion with would, it's an expression, a helpful expression, and um, it gets a new meaning, okay? It gets a new meaning. So when we say would rather, this is an expression or um, way to express our preferences, okay? Our preferences, what you want instead of what they are offering to you, okay? Maybe you are doing something and you, you'd rather do something else, all right? So this is a very useful expression in the context that we are right now talking about the uh, decisions that the companies have to make when they analyze the life of their product and what stage the product is. And then when you express the decision you made, for example, you prefer doing something or you prefer to do something. Um, so you can use this expression, would rather, okay? Would rather. rather. Would yes. rather. Would rather. Mm -hmm. would rather. And we are going to learn the grammar structure, okay? Because it can be affirmative, it can be negative. You can use it in questions too. And also direct questions with WH questions or information questions. So we need to know how to use would rather, okay? Our objective tonight is to learn to use or the use of would rather to express one's preference in a particular matter, in a particular matter. Mm. Sometimes when we think about a situation, a subject, a topic um, that's, that is related with us in any sense or in any way, we need to learn some vocabulary related to that field. So that's why we were saying in a particular matter, okay? That's why we say that. Our agenda tonight, uh, we have a PLC video activity. It's on the platform, okay? It's on the platform. And I send a um, video um, to watch the video. And we are going to prepare our activity we did yesterday as um, practice, okay? Today we are going to do it 
um, in the right way, ¿ok? Ayer practicamos, ahora vamos a hacer la actividad ya más estructurada, ¿verdad? Entonces, el día de hoy vamos a tener esa presentación, por lo tanto, eh, esa actividad de video que les envié ahí en la plataforma, dice precisamente que hay que ver el video y hay que tomar, como decir, las ideas que nosotros comprendamos, ¿verdad?, de cada etapa del de PLC y que comprendamos también eh, qué es el PLC, right? Remember, PLC, what does PLC stand for? Do you remember? P is for product, L is for life, and C is for cycle. Yes, correct. And it's, I mean, it has, Four stages, right? What are these stages? Do you remember? Yes. The first is mark introdu introduction. The second is growth. Uh, third of attach is the maturity. Maturity on the last one is decline. All right. Yes. Correct. So yesterday we did a very good job. Uh, understanding, reading, and trying to explain this. So today we are going to do this in a better way. After we are going to talk about the target vocabulary related to would rather, and we are going to talk about would rather as an expression, as the way to express preferences. We want to um, make a conversation or create a conversation Um, then I will give you some assessment after listening to you and we are going to discuss, right, about what you did or what you presented. So the session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for Boris Alexander. So please get ready, Boris, uh, with your questions for your turn tonight, okay? Okay. Okay. Great. So this is your class number three. Um, we are on the way. So remember that on a, on Friday, we are going to finish the unit one, okay? And tomorrow we will have some um, a, exercises to review. But right now, let's go back in our feedback, just to remember, okay? Because in our vocabulary that we learned yesterday, it was product life circle, length of time, stages, market introduction, growth, maturity, decline. Okay, in our page number 10 in our manuals, we have these list of words or terms. Do you mind looking them up and telling me um, if you are familiar with any of these words? For example, with appeal, is that a word familiar for you? It's that a familiar word? No, not yet. All right. Growth, is it familiar? No. Oh. Growth. Uh -huh. oh. Yesterday, uh, uh, you, uh, you explained it. All right. The meaning of world. Okay. It's the first, it's the first a touch, a stage. Growth. It's not the first stage, it's the, the, second, the second one, right? Because it was yeah. market introduction, so it's the second, right? The second, Good. right, the second. Good, the second. Santiago. Mm -hmm. the okay, second. yes, Boris. Differentiate, is that familiar, that word for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, discontinue. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Withdraw. 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 To take away. Oh. To take. Uh huh. Yes. Or, All right. I don't know. I see no. I see no name. I don't know. A synonym. Yeah. To put a it synonym. out. Right. To a put synonym. it out. Put it out. Put it out. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've dropped to retire, right? To stop, um, to stop giving it, to stop providing it, to stop having the thing in the place it was. So you withdraw something, right? Uh, take off. Do you know what does take off mean? It. Yeah. it Yes, but I, I, and sometimes I, I don't know. Uh, it's close the meaning with drought or take off. Maybe can you help me with some example? Because with drought you can uh, say retirar. Yeah. In Spanish, on take yes. off, can you say uh, sacar, despegar, y sacar is. Or take off, sacar también, right? Y retirar, sacar. I don't know which. Exactly. How can like you use that, that in right? English? Yeah, in, in Spanish. To, to. In Spanish, maybe. Quitar? Yes, quitar. That's the most close. I mean, the closest. Yeah. The closest meaning. But. Yeah, but um, quitar, but without es retirar. Dan, yes. Yeah, uh, you know, then mm -hmm. the, the, in English is another thing yes, than in Spanish. And, okay. and that, this is, I, I want a, a, a song example, please. All right. This is the situation. This is why I said at the beginning in a particular matter, right? Particular matter means that there are fields or there are ways to use this term. That's why we, we need to uh, do some vocabulary skills development, right? All right. So take off. Let's start by analyzing the word, all right? Let's start by analyzing the word. It has two parts. It's a phrasal verb, right? It's a phrasal verb. It has a lot of meanings. It's not only one, but yeah. the closest one is take off with clothes. Right. With things, okay? Right with feelings um so you can use take off right yeah also take off um as like you also uh, stop right you also stop airplane on the airplane too no? exactly and then the withdraw the withdraw is related to the financial things okay yeah okay. financial things or economics right in those fields, you are going to find uh, this word more useful, right? Because we talk about money. Most of all, okay, most of all, you can withdraw the product or from the place where it is, but withdraw involves that you are not getting the money. You are stopping the uh, commercial activity, okay? So you withdraw, retira. Yeah, and take off is quita. It's completely yeah, yeah. different right. um, concepts, right? So withdraw more with financial activities, take off with things and uh, other um, contexts, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Even though take off can be used here, but not in... Uh, mm, uh, Let's say with run and take off, you could say they are similar in some ways. They are yeah. similar in some ways. But as we said, yeah, you can. It's clear, yeah, but you, it's clear. You can break down, right? <laughs> the two meanings, right? You can break down <laughs> the two meanings. And then you are going to get more, just a clue, right? Just a second. Yeah. Oh. All right, then demand. Do you know what demand is? Right. Guys, okay, yes. Santiago knows. Uh -huh. Demand? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Buyout, is that familiar? No. Yeah. Buyout. No, yeah. no. no. Example. 
Okay, then we have a peel and buy out, all right? Then, because you knew the, the meaning of take off and withdraw, I didn't uh, check them out, okay? So appeal and buy out. What about feature? Do you know what feature is? Is no. I'm a, a TCT for something, uh, I don't know. Is can, can you repeat? Characteristic. 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 Yes, exactly. Is similar or different, teacher. With characteristics. The, the feature and characteristic characteristics different in, in use or, or is similar? Actually, they are synonyms. They are synonyms because you are going to say feature can be something added to mm -hmm. the object to uh, um, with a purpose, right? So feature is a characteristic, it's a part of the object. So characteristic and feature are synonyms, all right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, saturation. Do you know what saturation is? Yes. Okay, yeah. so we have appeal and buy out. Everybody Google, uh, Google this word and this other word. Okay, appeal and buy out. But you are going to write in the search, uh, use appeal in a sentence, all right? This is what you are going to write in the search box. Use appeal in a sentence. Like this. And that's, uh, read the sentence. Who's got a sentence? I have got a bill starting for up there in half an hour. Okay. And the sentence continue, but is is a little a large. Okay. Uh, may I? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, our new product is appealing for the customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Appealing, mm, can you get a synonym? Okay. Our new product is... Okay. Our new product is appeal for the customers. Yes, but uh, let's look it's, for... It's a appeal for... Uh -huh. For the customers. All right. Like, it's like an attractive product, right? Yeah, attractive, attractive product. Yeah. So let's yeah. look for a synonym to get the meaning without saying the meaning because we don't know it, right? So ah. this is the idea. When Example. you don't know, when you don't know something uh, or the meaning of a word, you go to the use of that word. This is what I am trying to uh, speak. Okay, I can and, say our new product is attractive for the customers. All right, very good. And Kevin was reading something? Oh, I, I'm looking right now. What, were you? No, all right. Boris, were you reading something? Apple to summer body to do some, some time. Okay. Appeal. Appeal. Appeal, appeal mm -hmm. to somebody mm -hmm. to do something. Ah, okay. So that's another meaning, right? That's a different meaning. That's when you ask to someone to do something for you, right? You appeal to that person, right? For this person to do something. For example, um, in the law field, right? then you're going to use that word. If you don't agree with the, the, the judge decision, then you can appeal. So that's the meaning, right? Or that's the meaning that Boris is saying. Or for uh, to restart or to reopen the case, for example, the investigation, whatever you wanna say. That's in the low field, the example I'm giving, right? But appeal to someone will be that you go to a person and ask for something, okay? Something to be done, all right? <clears throat> uh, like, yeah. 
uh, to corroborate or to... Okay, is there any other example that you, you got? Did you get any other example? A ver, veamos. Uh, Carlos Ernesto, did you find a sentence using the word appeal? No? Other, ex other examples, uh, organizers, appeal, to the crow, not panic. Oh, all right. You asked to the crowd to not panic. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. All right, so you appealed. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, now let's try to make a definition for appeal. Let's try to make a definition for appeal. A ver, intentemos todos. What is appeal. It's like attraction and in business engagement. All right, good, good, nice. This is a way to define words. You can describe, you can say how to use it, you can say where to use this word, okay? This is what we are trying to do. This is a vocabulary skill. You are going to get the meaning not by translating, all right? Not by translating, but by looking for the use, the description, etc. right? Teacher. Tell me. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I, re I remember that word appeal, but for something like um, apelar in español. Exactly. Uh, I, I heard uh, that word in a program of lawyers. And yes. I that word for that, uh, in, it's the same word as spelling it. It's the same word, the same spelling with a different meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has different meanings. It has different meanings. The one we are looking for is the one that Elias said, right? Attraction or how the product looks like for the, um, the customer. How do they see our product? How do they... Um, a perceive our concept, right? Our concept. Okay, people. And the one buyout. Did you look it up? But uh, the same, the same strategy. Use buy dash out in a sentence. Okay. Here we go. You got it? Okay, go to Google and the search box you will write. Use by out in a sentence. What is the difference between only say buy or buy out? All right. It's a phrasal verb. 
when you have a phrasal verb, they slightly or they completely change the meaning. When you add a preposition, then you change the meaning, all right? It has a completely different meaning or um, sometimes it's, uh, it's an opposite, right? Opposite. Uh, but in this case, by out has its own meaning. So that's what we are trying to define, all right? This is what we are trying to define. And you guys are going to define by out. Please go to Google, write in the search box, use by out in a sentence. Type in use by out in a sentence. Uh, a management buyout is one possibility. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you get what is that referring to? Is is like uh, we taking just a uh, part about. Are by. Uh, okay, well, a part of the company. Teacher, Excuse uh, me? for me, for, uh -huh. me for, for example, by, I see that in, in generals, um, just, just general, um, by out, uh, real, uh, um, realizar la acción. O sea, ya la compra hecha, digamos, vaya out. Compra. Ok. Uh -huh. All right. Y, y vaya es como una forma general, comprar, o sea, voy a comprarla. Y la otra es como ya la acción realizada. Así lo he entendido, no sé. Teacher, ok. Bueno. Well. In this case, I don't know if, uh, I'm not sure. But when we want to talk about buy out, it when the purchase is the total in the stock. For example, if I want to buy the all the apples in the supermarket, it says I buy out the apples. All I right. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I it's have, part of your interest. Okay, well. Uh, I have one sentence. The mm -hmm. $15 uh, share buy out represented uh, 50 a percent premium to the price. Okay, again, buy out. The $15 mm -hmm. a share buy out represented a 15% premium to the price. Okay, so in that case, do you have any idea what is referring that to? I think that is the fifteen dollars represent the fifty percent from the from the price. Okay, but then you you talk about the seventeen. That is, it is the full price, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All right, but we are talking about the meaning of buyout. Of buyout. Do you sure. get what does buyout? I mean, what buyout is? I have a, a sentence. Um, I have a ten percent discount in my buyout. Okay, in my buyout. Okay, good. This uh, is. Mm -hmm. uh, I am seeing uh, uh, buyout is a uh, by people by uh, volunt volunteers. Uh, oh. How do you say voluntary? Uh, 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 wills, wills, wills. wills. Um, uh -huh. Buyout is a uh, uh, mm -hmm. by people, uh, uh, by uh, uh, situations, situations of the 
Okay, you you are talking like soborno. Yes, uh, I am. You seen. buy people. You buy people. Uh huh. Buy wills, but mm, maybe maybe they are going to understand that part if you use this. Um, but there is another word better for that. Allow me to remember here. Uh huh. Like a bribe. Bribe will be sobornar, right? Bribe. I think it's um, the most exact meaning. So uh, buyout is used in the context of, for example, when you merge companies or you are. Uh, for example, in the decline stage, right? And you can't invest anymore. So you sell out your um, some part of the company in shares, okay? So if you sell your company in parts like shares, yeah. um, then you... And the person who buys your shares, he is buying out, okay? Right. He is buying out. Uh, so it's in that field, financial, economical too. And we were talking about the shares, part of the company. It could be also the complete company or maybe just this line of product. And I still continue producing the one that I can um, support, okay? But um, buyout is like you are becoming part of the company because you pay for that part of the company, right? You buy part of the company, okay? This is buyout. Mm -hmm. Are we okay? You sure. Tell me, Elise. I have uh, some example. Okay. And I would rather buy out at the supermarket on the street some products. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, I don't know uh huh. If the sentence is it's correct. A actually not buy out. In that case, it will be buy. Just buy. Okay. Buy. Just buy. I would in rather case, buy in. Mm -hmm. In that case. Case is not correct by out. No, because you are not buying a, a share of the supermarket. You are just buying the products yeah. they sell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's it's clear you uh, said that uh, it's only to uh, buy out uh, 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 if you. Uh, buy some uh, percent for a company and you buy out. You, you, yeah. you have a, 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 a part exactly. of the company. It exactly. does buy out only. Yes. That's clear, right? Okay. Yes, correct. Yes. And yeah. if that's um, buy out... By, by, uh, excuse me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, buy out company bonds is correct? Buy out company, yeah, yeah. Bonus. Bonus. bonus, bonus, bonus. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. Correct. yes, that's correct. correct. Yes, correct. Right. Mm -hmm. I understood, Tisha. Very well. Okay, good. So yeah. now remember, bonus and bonuses. Okay, bonuses. bonus singular. Yes. Two bonuses. Bonus. Yes. Yeah. All right, people. I have to call the roll in. Remember that you didn't remind me at a twenty, guys. Aha. But no problem. No problem. So now I will call the roll. And we are going to say, instead of present, one of the words we saw in the slide, okay? One of the words we saw, we saw in the slide. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, people. Do you want to, to see the slide again? Yes, please. 
There we go. Okay, here we've got the vocabulary. You got it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Alvaro, uh, please turn your cameras on. Alvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Está solo de oyente. Yes, thank you. Boris Alexander Cortés Cáceres. Apil. Great. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Teacher. Can you repeat? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Oh, oh, now I got it, now I got it. Thank you, Edwin. Feature, right? Okay, good. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Buy out. Great. Uh, Ulise Torres Torres. Assessment. Again? Or assessment? Yes, assessment. Assessment. All right. Okay, assessment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Assessment. Good. Fatima assessment. Noemi Umaña Castro. Miss Fatima? Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez? Present and withdraw. Okay. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla? Demand. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano? Feature. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Miss Karen. She's just a listener, right? Kevin Alfredo. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Mr. Kevin. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Oh, okay, good. It's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Um, present, withdraw. Okay, thank you. And Santiago Roberto Calderon Avelar. Take off. Good. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Please continue. Okay, good. So you are discontinued. <laughs> because you're just a solicitor. All right, no problem. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay, Ana Lorena, good. I checked you in already. Okay, people. So let's continue with uh, the. Okay. Tell me. I I my internet have a pro, have trouble, and and you can call and you call me maybe. And, Okay, yes, I did, Kevin, but it's okay. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Okay, you have to say Peter. one word. Oh, Peter. good, good. Thank you. Okay, people, let's continue then. Here we go. Okay, let's go to the platform, right? 
in the platform, I sent a link to watch a video. But we are going to do this skimming skill, right? This skimming strategy. You are going to see just what we need to see. We are going to listen to what we need to listen to. We're not uh, watch, we're not going to watch all the video to know all the video. We want just to get some uh, terms, right? Remember that we are still in vocabulary in our feedback. We have to define what the PLC is and we need to uh, express what are the four stages about, okay? So let's go to the platform. In the platform, we had this video, but I'm having trouble because it doesn't charge again. Are you there yet? Go to the discussion label. And in the discussion label, uh, you're going to find the list. Are you there yet? Okay, you go to the discussion label and then you will find the screen. Okay, then you click on todos los temas, right? There you have the activity. What is PLC and what are the PLC stages? And you have to click on this video and now you know what you're going to uh, look for in the video, right? You just want to know what is PLC? And you just want to know the definition for mature, um, I'm sorry, market introduction, the growth, maturity, and decline, okay? So you must go on. I hope everybody gets it. And then you are going to type in your summary, okay? Your summary individually. Lo van a ver en grupo. Van a discutir en grupo. Van a definir así. Esto es no a lo que el tiempo da. No. Lo vamos a realizar en 10 minutes. Ok. En 10 minutes. A buscar exactamente en el video esas partes. ¿Verdad? Las que ya sabemos que es PLC. Las cuatro eh, etapas. Sí. Y Ustedes definen rapidito y lo escriben y lo envían, ¿sí? Luego lo vemos acá, lo que ustedes escribieron a manera de resumen, as a manner of summary. Okay, there we go. Interno. Tell me. What video? I see a... Uh... Go, scroll okay. down. Scroll down, then you're going to get the video. I can see only the topic level student visible level, level one, two, three, four. Where is the video? Oh, 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 now I got what you are asking for. Okay, allow me to show you. I will show you this because this is important instruction. So, yeah. yeah, here it is. The place you're going is this label, discussion. Right, you click on discussion and then. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah then, I did. Okay, then we you have... are going to get todos ah, los temas, all, right? All the themes, all right. Okay. Yes, okay. all the topics there. Okay. okay, then okay. you, okay, well. then you click on in this link, 
And then you click on this other link where the video is, okay? There you are. You scroll down in that um, site and you will find the video. Product life cycle is the period of time during. Correct, that one. Please join your rooms, guys. Everybody understood the video. You can play the game, please.
Hello. How's it going? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Are you watching the video? Um, no, teacher. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes. uh, I I can't find. I watched the video. Uh huh. Boris, are you watching the video? Yes, I, I watched the video. Elias? I am watching the video, teacher. All right, thank you. Rafael, are you watching the video too? Okay, Eulise, go to the platform. Go to the platform. Yes, I am here. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, do you want to share your 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 screen? And I will mm. guide you. Um, no, because I'm on my phone. Ah, okay, okay, but you are on the platform. Uh, have you seen the discussion label yet? Yes. Okay. Pero then... le doy al link y me manda a un montón de letras. No puedo ver el video. A un montón de letras. O sea, sí me manda como la información. A un sitio. Sí. Then you have to scroll down. Tiene que bajar. Baje, baje. Y va a encontrar en medio el video. Eh, ma, este compañero, si tiene mucha dificultad, eh, entre al chat y eh, alguien pegó el enlace directamente. Ah, Puede okay. acceder al video desde el okay. enlace que, que se encuentra en el chat. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Elias. Hello, Elias. Uh, are you ready? Take me a minute, please. Okay. Okay, I will show something. Wait, wait. sorry. No, this, this is, but.
Okay, Bruno Dot. Which this is the 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 idea I, that actually have I have. Or start the resume. What more do you have, everybody? This reason you need to send in the in the platform, no? Yeah, when we finish, we yes, you do. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. HR is carving. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is here that uh, yeah. Kevin, Jose Miguel is trying to show you what he has as a summary. So if you have any more ideas that you can add to his, his, his summary, then you can get one and then you write the summaries individually. You type in the summaries individually on the platform. Okay, but here you discuss. Okay. Okay. Um, Hello. The first stages, the second stages. Uh, you you don't have anything. You have anything about that? Uh, actually, no. Okay. First stage. What is the second stage? It's a TV. Say the video. Say the video. The second stage is DVD and third stage. Oh, that's an example. Well, I I, I guess or I understand that when the video mentioned mentioned that uh, it's like an example uh, of a product in a different uh, stage of the of the life cycle because. Uh, uh, say the the 3D TV is the first step because it's in development and it's, it's, ay, ¿cómo es la palabra? Mm. Sí, development, desarrollo, eh, investigation about that is still is not in the market uh, like a, a like the the second example uh, the blu-ray actually is the the the, the boom <laughs> for saying what form is 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 el producto is the product uh, más conocido que, que más está dando in the mercado. De... Luego, el tercer ejemplo, the third example is the DVD. Is, is, están vendiendo con menos. But uh, actually, is in the market yet. But the last one example, the, the videotape, that actually is that. Uh, the the product that uh, in the video is only an example for every stage. Okay, Jose Miguel Hosman sent something in uh, through the chat, so go ahead and read it, and you can add it too. Ahorita lo veo. Tengo razón. For the ah, PLAs. Me gusta. The question of what is the PLC and what are the PLC stands? Why is the PLC one in the long term? 
The question or that is the police and what are the police that strategic states? This is cool. It's the definition the the Nelson product life cycle. It's very interesting and good. And the other question, the, the stage for the, the, the example, the the right the video VA product lights no. explains same product season sample the state Okay, guys, I need you to write your answer or your reply on the platform. So everybody, please writing in this moment your ideas. What were uh, your conclusions? Okay, what did you um, agreed? Okay. Um, for me, uh, the video uh, talk about the <laughs> life of the product in the market um, ex expose um, some examples of, of these stages. Very good. Yes, correct. So now you have to go to the platform and answer the two questions of this activity. What is PLC and what are the PLC stages? Okay. Where is it? I don't know. On the platform, platform yes. Okay, if you see, there is a box where you reply. Okay, then you can say, for example, the PLC is a tool, um, yeah, a tool to analyze or of, of analysis of the mm, line time. Line time. 
yeah, of a product. Then it is introduced. Okay, this is what you have to do. And when you finish your paragraph or your summary, then you click on enviar or submit. Yeah, and then I'm going to receive it and we want to read it over here. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Okay, here we've got Jose Miguel says, the video starts explaining the product life, explaining the product life cycle in this form, the period of time during which a product is conceived and developed, brought to market and later removed from the market. Product life cycle is a period of time in which a product or in laboratory and it has improved to the different circumstances. Circumstances to okay. Here will be another one to grow. Sorry for that. <laughs> no, no, no worry, <laughs> no worries. Yeah, no worries. Uh huh. To grow because to grow is the verb, and okay. growth is the name of the action, right? Uh, sí, 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 me as... en fue parte de la lluvia idea. Uh, no, but that's good. That's good. This is the activity about until so the market stops it and then life cycle of products. Okay, good. Meanwhile, right? Meanwhile, <laughs> then <explain. laughs> of the products life cycle determines its marketing, financing, manufacturing. Okay, research and develop more and more being produced so in mass, right? Yeah. Like in mass, less required, can't compete with the new technologies. All right. So these were the, these were the, um, based on the examples, right? You did a good job here. You did a good job. Okay, so let's continue and let's see if there is another one. Solo José Miguel la ha enviado, chicos, o solo el de él me ha caído. Ese cuenta por todo nuestro equipo. Ah, Ahí ok. Van la idea de los cuatro. Ok, ok. <risa> los hice grandes porque hay varios que están de oyentes en su trabajo todavía. Ajá. Bueno, aquí este vale por seis, dice, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Seis han participado. Ahí tiene que aparecer su participación, ok. Así que tienen todavía después de la clase para que lo puedan hacer. Y pasamos al tema de hoy. Let's move forward to the new topic. The new topic is would rather. And we want to talk about the preferences. What do you prefer? It's another way to say that using would rather. Would rather. Teacher, antes de empezar, ¿a qué hora uh -huh. es el siguiente listado? 9.40. 9.40. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. 9.40. Thank you. All right. So would rather. Would rather. Uh, does anybody know how to use would rather? Have you ever heard a sentence or an expression like this one? Would rather when you want something different mm. that you have. Yeah, it's like say, like, Nelson, it's express preference. I okay. remember something in a game. In a uh, game? I, yeah, yeah, there is a game that I, it I, means. A video, in, in a video game, I, re, I, I remember one character used that, that phrase. Oh, when, okay. When, it, when you offer something uh -huh. and he say, uh, I would rather the other, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. All right, but yes, that's a good example. Que mejor preferiría, algo así, uh, exactly, yo. 
exactly. And that's the correct meaning. Okay, that's the closest meaning. But now, guys, talking about the products in a company or the production of a company, the uh, um, the life cycle of a product, uh, do you think or would you agree that your company has fierce competitors, fierce competitors, fierce, fierce? Do you know what does it mean? What, what it means? Okay, let's start, let's start by that. Do you know what's the competitor of your company? Do you know what's the competitor of, uh, competitor of your company? Does it have a competitor? Does it have a fierce competitor? My company have a competitor. Uh, my company is Alas Doradas, and my competitor is Kimberly Clark. Oh, okay. That's your fierce competitor. Is it fierce? Yes. Is it fierce? I mean, fierce is wild, and when you uh, introduce a new product, then the other company introduces a better, or they modify something, and then they go before your company to introduce a new product in the market. That's fierce competition. Okay, is that kind of competition? Yeah. Um, How do you spell that? Peers. F I E R C E. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And in the market, we have uh, parecidos. Products, it's similar. Similar. Uh, similar products. Uh, we have a uh, un rollo. Roll. Um, uh, cuatro rollos. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we we do toilet toilet paper, napkins, and we do products about paper, mm -hmm. and and yeah, is 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 this competition mm -hmm. in the market? Yeah, about prices more uh, or. A yeah, innovations. Yeah, mm, really not. Uh, okay. Is is uh, los precios más que no. Okay. Okay. So I will ask again. Now Kevin gave us a very good example. Okay. Uh, these are two companies that offer similar products. They produce the same thing. Okay. They offer the toilet paper, the napkins, and all products made out, I mean, made out of paper, okay? And it's for the cleaning, I mean, personal care or household, right? So uh, in this case, the, the question I asked was, would you agree that your company has a fierce competitor? Then you can answer, my company has a fierce competitor, okay, competitor. You can say a first competition with, and then you say the name of the other company or the other product similar to the one I offer or the company offers. Or you can just answer, my company has a first competitor. It is, then you say the name of the company that, or, or the name of the product that it's the competitor, okay? So I uh, wrote this on the chat. I will ask again, guys. Voy a hacer la pregunta nuevamente. Does your company have a first competitor?
Tell me, husband. In my company has a first competitor um, in first for, for its supply only sport. And second, uh, Almacenes Prado. This is a competitor, uh, similar uh, character feature in the sales of products. And the more, more competition similar, uh, my company is only for. This is a, a rebuild the, the uh, or company more, more competitive, more competitor uh, is a um, similar characteristic um, in, the, in the case, for example, the credit, um, a, a similar product and um, different strategies is the different the, the company and the other company copied the strategy the, 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 the company right yeah, yeah, yes. and the, yeah in the case the the, the my company is the unicorner i work i job in the la curacao as it is very very interesting and different and the the area marketing is very uh, dynamic and dynamic. The different strategy dynamic uh different strategies and and in other month uh, uh, one moment one month and different 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 uh, strategies because the uh, the different the competition oh okay so you marketing area is constantly changing the yeah. strategies inventing making up right creating new strategies okay good because of the first uh, first competition fierce look fierce fierce fierce, fierce. competition yes fierce. First competition is exactly that when you have a competitor that is copying everything you do and they are trying to do uh, what you do better than you okay and then you start trying to go over that and you want to um, you need to create new strategies to compete right to compete Okay, then, guys. Um, but to identify that, you need to do this analysis of the product life cycle. Okay, you need to do this analysis to your product because when we have a saturated market uh, with more than one fierce competitor and it becomes a first competition, okay, then we need to make decisions, right? We need to make decisions, but we have to aware in what place, where our company is for sure or for real, okay? Then uh, this is one of the usages of this uh, PLC analysis tool. Okay, and uh, the moment we know the four stages, right? We know the four stages, but what do we do or what does a company do when the market gets saturated? What do they have to do? Do you have any idea? Diver, diversi, diversi, diver, diversification, que, pero no recuerdo. Okay, diversifying, diversifying, yeah. Mm -hmm. To diversify, to diversify, that's the verb. Um, for example, uh, my company has a fierce competi competition, 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 uh, help me, please. Okay, um, if if you want to say competition, it's because maybe you have more than one competitor, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you say my company has a first competitor, is one that you have detected that that's the uh, first competitor. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my company has a first competitor, but, but I am not of the department of sales. 
and I don't remember the the name. Ah, okay. But my company um, is Block International. Um, my company's area is is outsourcing, and <laughs> our competitor uh, is always lowest lowest the prices of. <laughs> Um, how do you say licitaciones? Ah, um, you got me. You got me. I don't know the word at this moment. Just give me but, one second. And uh, I bit, a bit. It's a, a bit. bit. A bit. A bit. A bit. Mm -hmm. a bit. Yeah, bit. like B E. Right. It's so, bit. so our, B I D, right? B. Mm -hmm. Bit. B. Okay. And so, uh, the department of sales and operation always is uh, looking for uh, other ways to lower the price. Um, sometimes uh, looking for in other areas that, for example, if our our area it's um how do you say mantenimiento maintenance uh, um for uh, ese, ese, ese me fue la idea perdón pero lo que quería decir es que por ejemplo si nos enfocamos en el área de mantenimiento tratan de buscar en otras áreas donde haya menos competidores o donde el competidor no llegue. So they Por... look for new markets, right? They look for new exactly. markets. Exactly. Uh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's your company who is looking for new markets. Yes, okay, that's a good strategy to compete, right? And then when you get the segment, then the other company looks at your company and then they start trying to get to that segment too. Yes, and that's always the same thing in all the fields, not only in the companies. And in this case, for example, you say maintenance and we have a lot uh, marketing, accounting, financial. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of areas in the company, but sometimes, I don't know if, you, if your company does that, but you offer like to create new areas for the companies, new areas, and propose them that they can create a new department in charge of a specific activity. So that will be another uh, new market introduction too, right? Okay, but yeah, so you have one first competitor. Yes, but what to do is a very good example here uh, because Kevin said, to um Kevin said about the uh, I forget the word. Hmm. Alita Doradas. Yes, about the products. Yeah, but they are yeah. trying to compete uh, with the prices, right? Prices. Yeah. And in this case, Elias is saying that they uh Hosman said about creating and changing the strategies constantly. That's another way to compete in a saturated market. What about Elias? Elias said that they look for new markets. So this is what we have to do in saturated markets, but we need to identify what change of the PLC is my product to do that to do that. So to do that is like to make decisions uh, to compete, to uh, keep your spot and your market, right? So let's uh, read just a little bit about these um, statements, how to compete in a saturated market, how to compete in a saturated market. For example, I have two examples here, uh, one example here because we have Coca-Cola and Pepsi, right? They are fierce competitors. What Coca-Cola does, Pepsi does it. And if Pepsi doesn't do something, then Coca-Cola take advantage of that. And then they offer something different, etc. right? 
So how to compete in a saturated market? For people say, okay, for the people who say, eh, I rather drink Coke than Pepsi. Okay, this is a very good challenge. Okay, we are talking about giants. So first of all, identify. Mm -hmm. Identify and solve the pain points of your customers, okay? Build your own niche. That's what Elia said, right? Build your own niche to have more room for your business. Get the pricing correct. What um, the company, I mean, Alitas Doradas does, right? And uh, Alitas, no, it was Alas, right? Not, not little. Uh, in a regular size, Alas. Yes. Golden wings, yeah, golden wings. Okay, so they are getting the pricing correct. Mm -hmm. mm. Then we have make innovation your best friend. As I was saying to Elias, they can propose to companies uh, that are some activities that are more specific. So you have to create a new era and we have the people ex exactly what the people the feet feet in that um, area and your company that they can be uh, in charge of right uh, then improve your customer service improve your customer service i had an experience with uber i don't know if you have had these um uh, problems with Uber uh, when they charge you and when you choose your method of payment. If you introduced your credit or your debit card and they charge you there, but also you paid to the, to the driver. I don't know if you have had that problem. It's very common. It's very common that they charge you on your car and um the driver just asked you for the cash right so i had an experience and i thought not using uber anymore okay i was not going to call uber uh i'd rather not to use uber anymore uh because of those kind of problems so i mm, try to look for the customer service contact and it was very difficult in the app to get until the place or the site the part in the application where you can um, uh, report your issues so well finally I did it I didn't know if they were going to refund the money I gave the money extra I gave but they did it uh, and they did it in a record time right in the same day so i was pleased now i'm going to continue using uber because they solved my problem so one uh, i could use in driver any other kind of transportation right instead of uber because of the problems right because of the problems so you have to say you have to start by identifying and solving the pain points of your customers so if we're talking about money, right? Or if we are talking about amounts, right? Um, the presentations of the products. If you sell not in a retail price, right? Only for the wholesalers. Um, also, for example, improve your customer service. Improve your customer service is like the back bone right of your company when you offer a product when you offer a product more when you offer a service more when you offer a service all right people so how to compete in a saturated market uh number one elias number two rafael number three santiago number four uh, kevin all right please how to compete in a saturated market Number one. Um, we need to identify uh, the pain points of your customers. 
Um, for example, um, um, I think that in my company, maybe these points are um, um, how do you say presupuesto? Uh, budget. 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 Mm -hmm. Is one of the more important points to uh, okay. Um, um, and, and, and the majority of the of the process is that the difference. Okay, the majority, the majority. The majority. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Elias. Now let's continue with number two, please, Rafael. How to compete uh, in a saturated market? Number two. Build your own niche to have more room for your business. Uh, for example, uh, increase uh, the numbers of products do you have in, in, in your stock or the variety, the products in your stock for or try to reach, or bueno, tratar de llegar a, a la mayoría de, de clientes. All right. Uh, and look for a new niche. Niche is el nicho, el segmento, the segment of the, the market, right? So build your own niche so that no one else can uh, meet the needs of this group of people in the market, right? Or these kind of customers in the market. Yeah, and it says to have more room for your business, it's because you will be uh, the first one or the unique, right? You are going to be the only business in the business, right? So that's what you, why you have to build your own niche. Uh, what about number three? Um, Santiago, uh, Santiago, right? Yes, get the pricing correct. I think it's important to uh, have a uh, planning, uh, marketing planning, uh, and to know exactly uh, the match that you need to win. And then you can have a, a, a marketing studio and you can have the other price from the competitors and you can have the best price for your uh, uh, market introduction for your product. Exactly, marketing research, right? Correct. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Develop development yes. too. And right. you need to know what are your profits, yes. margins. Right, that is very right. important. Cost, yes. yes. Good, thank you very much. What about number four? How to compete in a saturated market? It was for... No, you didn't say four and, or, and five. You say one, two, three, all right. Or you say four, five, two, huh? okay. Yes, I said yes. Kevin number you did. four, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number four, make innovation you be your best friend. Uh, for example, in my company, uh, we have an area uh, that where where we have new designs uh, about the presentation of our products, and it is important because is the first image. Uh, that the people see in in the supermarket and exactly in when... that case you can use that word the appealing of my product right the appealing of my product mm -hmm. the appealing of my product correct okay. good good and number five did i say number five improve your customer service 
No, Ana Lorena or Edwin? Okay, go ahead, Edwin. Okay, for in this case, improve your customer service. Um, we can understand what the customer needs because if we understand what the customer needs, we can service the best form. And other is because the other option for this is uh, the, sorry, I forget the, the word for empresa. Uh, business, business. So in this case, uh, we can personalize your customer service to for each uh, fabric or manufacturing or another, uh, we can personalize and we can use this to give the best service for the customers. All right, very good, because you use the customer service as a way to know what they really need. Exactly, that's the way to communicate or to connect with the customer. Very good, Edwin, thank you very much. Okay, people, so I'd rather drink Coke than Pepsi. What about you guys? What would you rather? Me too. <laughs> so, so okay good okay i'd rather drink coke than pepsi what about you i'd rather okay i'd, I'd rather, rather drink coke than pepsi okay what about you rafael sorry teacher estoy una llamada okay no problem ana lorena Okay, I rather uh, eat pupusas that pasta. No sé cómo se oh, pasta. very good example. I was thinking about the only Coke and Pepsi, but good, good. Uh huh. Pasta is the same. Pasta. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any other name. Teacher, uh -huh. I'd okay. I'd rather drink Pepsi than Coke. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Someone who um, a, a said something opposite. All right. Now let's uh, see. Eulise, what about you? I rather um, lemonade than alcohol. Okay, lemonade and alcohol. Good. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Spirits, because we don't know what exactly, right? Spirits. Okay. Uh huh. Tell me. Someone was going to say something. Okay. Well, actually, when we say two options, okay, we express that we prefer something to something, then we use this expression. This expression is a contraction of I would. I, I would, would, I'd. I would, I'd. I'd rather drink Coke than Pepsi. Well, yeah. As Elisa said, I rather drink lemonade than is spirits, right? Spirits. I'd uh, rather drink water than Coke and Pepsi. Oh, great. Than Coca or Pepsi? Than Coke? Than Coke, Coke. or Pepsi? Good, Pepsi. good. All right, then this is the way to express what we want, okay? What we want. Because we have two options. Because we have two options. So this is not in general. This is specific, okay? This is specific. So let's read uh, that we use. I would rather in a short form will be I'd rather. She would rather. She'd rather, okay? Mm -hmm. He, he would, would rather. rather. He'd rather. He'd rather. He'd rather. 
Yes. It would rather. rather. Mm -hmm. You could say also it rather, but uh, we use more the complete form, right? The full form. It would rather, and then you use be because that's a, a expression. Yeah. Okay. When you use with it, you use be usually. All right. They would yeah. rather. They would rather. Yeah. They'd yeah. rather. Yeah. We would rather. We'd rather. And this one sounds like the other word, right? We'd, uh, yeah, but it's not that one. It's we would, yeah, we'd rather. Yeah, oh my goodness, I knew you knew. <laughs> you would rather. Thank you, yes, yes. You would rather, you'd rather. Allow me uh, two more minutes and let me know, I mean, remind me in two more minutes, okay? Because I just want to show you that some uh, preferences that we want to express are like these ones. I want to give you the examples. For example, now that you are, um, you are a studying English or now that you know two languages, you rather prefer one than the other, right? So, uh, would you rather give your speech in English or French? Okay. This is the way to ask someone what the preference they have, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So, would you rather learn English in the UK or in the US? Right? Preferences. Would you rather be a teacher or an actor? Preferences wishes what you want okay but i am asking look they structure would at the beginning okay oh, then the subject then the word rather and then the verb uh, or the uh, action uh, yes uh, this this verb has to go in the infinitive form without the Particle two, okay? The bare infinitive. Bare infinitive means that it doesn't get take the two part. So would you rather give? We're not gonna say, would you rather to give? No. Would you rather giving? No. Would you rather give? Would you rather learn? Would you rather be? And then the two options, okay? The two options. How do I answer this question? I will answer I'd because usually when we speak, we use the contractions as more as we can. So I'd rather, I'd rather um, give, I could say, I'd rather a, let's say talk, right? Talk, because we're talking about give your speech. I could use give too, give my speech, right? <laughs> give my speech, but I talk. Sure. English, than, <laughs> yes, no pasó, than oh, no, French. No. Oh, okay. I have another question about that. Uh, that uh, is the base for the question, but if you want say the question for something in the future, for example, if you want to say this, the, the same question. What would you like? Uh, would you like, uh -huh, in the future. I would prefer a, it's always in, in the present tense. The same it's all, form. Yeah, in the same form because you can use the simple present for future events that are already scheduled, right? So you can use this in for the future or for the present. Well, as you use the present, then you can use this expression for the okay. future, for a routinary things but this is about preferences okay uh, but you use the simple present as usual okay as usual and would yes is for an undetermined or an imagined future too so you can use would too for the future because you're using would right so it's almost a the same structure right i rather learn okay. mm -hmm. English. Uh, I could say, uh, thank you. 
I'd rather learn in the UK. Okay. I'd rather learn in the UK, right? Or if I prefer the US, then in the US. So you say the option that you prefer. Okay. You say the option that you prefer. You can use I'd rather talk English than French. I rather learn in the US, right? So I can use both kind of answers. Okay, people, I will call the roll. I will call the roll. And when I'm calling the roll, a ver, nos vamos a tirar al agua. Ya vimos lo básico que es el significado de would rather, que es una expresión completa. Tiene exactamente las mismas estructuras afirmativa, negativa y de pregunta, con, tanto, con, eh, tanto como con la eh, WH, ¿verdad? Entonces, les voy a pasar un link y nos vamos a tirar al agua a un listening, ¿ok? Nos vamos a tirar al agua a un listening y ahí en el listening vamos a tratar de irlo contestando. La, la idea es que no vean el transcript, ¿verdad? Pero si ya no hay opción, bueno, veamos el transcript. Permítanme, ya les paso el link. Y en lo que yo estoy tomando la asistencia, ustedes están trabajando en eso, ¿ok? Bien, ahora me go there. Okay, there it is. There it is. Go to the listening. Okay. But try to listen to your name too. Okay. There you go. Please remember to turn your camera on. And when I say your name, you will say present. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present, teacher. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. I hear. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Ok. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos uh, Ernesto. Yeah, I, I remember he was a listener. I can see him. Ok, there he is. Uh -huh. And next, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Ok. Elías Neftali Martínez González. I am here, teacher. Ok. Eulice Torres Torres. Present teacher. Good. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Present. Okay. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Osman Atilio Serrano. Ah, uh, he got frozen, right? Okay. Uh, Karen Lizette Sanchez Castro. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Méndez. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Here. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Hurra. Okay. Good. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. All right. So, people. Continue listening. Teacher, I'm sorry, I'm pro I have a problem with the connection. 
Oh, yes, you had, but no problem. I checked you in already. Thank you. Okay, husband. You finish the exercise one? How's it going? Ok, lo chequeamos mañana, jóvenes. Eh, solo quiero explicarles algo que está en su manual. Es una actividad que está on page number 11. Ok, on page 11. So you have to look for a product. Select a product known by everyone. And uh, in this case, not in your team. We're going to do it individually. Ok. Select a product, a product known by everyone. Um, in this case, it's just you. Okay, select a product. Then prepare a presentation to explain the stages of the product life cycle in your own words. Okay, remember we are talking in our own words. Entonces, esa actividad que está ahí en la página 11. La vamos a resolver el día de mañana, ¿ok? La vamos a resolver el día de mañana. Ustedes traigan pensado el producto, ¿sí? Por ustedes solitos y piensen en las cuatro etapas de ese producto, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la vida de ese producto? Luego aquí vamos a trabajar en un teamwork. Después, entre todos los productos que ustedes van a presentar en su grupo, van a seleccionar el que van a preparar la presentación, ¿verdad? Y ya entre todos van a exponer acá el PLC, el Product Life Cycle de uno de esos productos que les toque en su grupo, ¿ok? Si ¿Sí se comprendió, piensen uno desde ahora, ¿verdad? Piensen en las cuatro etapas de ese producto. Tráiganlo listo para mañana porque vamos a trabajar en grupo preparando una presentación, definiendo, identificando las etapas de ese producto. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Okay. 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 Serán los mismos grupos de, que hicimos el día de hoy. 
No, van a ser diferentes, van a ser diferentes. Los, eh, es que de acuerdo a cómo estemos, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a cómo estemos, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Right? Uh -huh. Bien. Then, people, the turn for the session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for Boris. Boris, are you there? Yes. Okay, then. Boris, do you want to stay the 10 minutes after the class? Yes. All right. <laughs> Everybody, please do your homework and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you Have tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Hello, Boris. Welcome Hello, to your session one on one. Okay, these are your 10 minutes of fame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, is there any question you have that I can support, uh, give you any support? Uh, uh, the, the, uh, I am, I am not understand the, the, the phrase and the 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 phrase by out oh by out no comfort no understand okay that's when you precisely buy the shares acciones from a company cuando alguien compra las acciones de una compañía y se vuelve como un socio, ¿verdad? De esa compañía. Mm -hmm. You buy out. You buy out the company. Uh, you are part of the company because you bought the shares. Share, share, S-H-A-R-E. Eso significa acciones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you said bonuses. Bonuses are also part of this um, a buyout, right? You can buy out bonuses of your company. Bonuses. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's in the in the um a uh, what's the way to say this? Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, uh -huh. the buyout in that case will be in the stock exchange, right? Exchange, uh, where you buy the shares of a company too, okay? Yeah, como en la bolsa de valores, ¿verdad? De valores, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and, and price take, take off? Oh. It's a different, it's a different the, the withdrawal. Uh, what, what is the difference? All right. I will show you something, one sec. Because take off, uh, you can use these phrasal verb, right? This is the phrasal verb. And when you add off to take, right? It means that the, uh, the closest idea to put something that it was fit or a got, gotten for something. And then you, take it off, right? You take it off, like your clothes, like um, your shoes, right? Or things that you are wearing, uh, things that are needed for something to function. So then you use um, take off. But you use with pro mostly in the financial uh, uh, area, okay? Financial area is uh, is a withdrawal. Yes, because take off. I uh, actually the closest for withdraw will be take out. Okay? Uh, 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 they, uh -huh. For example, instead of take off, yeah. O sea que take off está un poquito más alejadito de lo que sería take out. Por eso le digo que cuando Hacemos o, o encontramos un verbo que tiene las dos partes, el phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Eh, de acuerdo a la preposición que lleve, así toma el significado. Entonces, take off es quitar, ¿sí? Quitar. Pero withdraw es retirar, ¿ok? 
retirar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So take off is something that was on, right? And then you take it off. And withdraw is maybe everything that was right there. And I withdraw it, right? Lo retiro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or okay. like remove also. Remove. remove. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Uh, just like, mm, okay. I will try to uh, look for an example, okay? Okay, okay uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, take off is also. Aterrizar, ¿verdad? Eh, con los aviones, ¿sí? Like, Pero, oh, oh. ajá, exactly. Mm, mm, perdón, las, las, no es aterrizar, es eh, the departure. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama esto? En español. ¿Despegar? El despegue, yeah, that's correct. Ajá, el despegue. So, con el despegue, Usted, había algo que estaba puesto acá, pero al ponerle el off, eh, entonces you take off, right? Take off the plane. Entonces, no es que lo está removiendo o que lo está quitando. No, está haciendo una acción de, eh, eh, que se llama precisamente moverse, ¿verdad? De un punto A a un punto B, pero es el inicio. ¿ya? Entonces, despegue, take off. Um, Iniciar, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, despegar. But uh -huh. withdraw, withdraw es más cercano el take out que el take off. Ok. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, mmm, déjeme ver. Take off in a sentence. Ahí en Google usted puede poner, cuando usted tenga una duda así, en el search, en la búsqueda, Sí. Eh, para ampliar un poquito el, la idea de esa palabra, porque a veces el significado no nos queda claro. Y cuando lo traducimos, tampoco nos da la mejor luz, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. usted puede poner la palabra o el, lo que usted quiere saber in a sentence. ¿okay? Usted tiene que escribir ahí en una oración. En una oración. Exacto. Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, si ahorita pone take off in a sentence, yo lo puse ahorita y me sale todo lo relacionado a los aviones, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero tiene también, pero tiene también otros significados. Entonces, ahí voy viendo cuál es en el contexto que yo estoy viendo el significado uh, que uh, toma, ¿verdad? Okay. 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 En este caso, como estamos con el Product Life eh, Circle, The takeoff is when you put the product in the market, right? The takeoff, okay. the spare, oh, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. Okay. All Excellent. right. Good. Thank you. Thank you All very right. Much. Have a very good night. Uh, the, the, there is no other question. Do you have any other no. question? No. No. Okay. Oh, what yeah. about what Thank about you. the homework? Did you do your homework? Homework number one. Yes. Did Did you have any trouble? Uh, uh, with the homework, uh, uh, I, I, uh, uh, in print, I print. Oh, you printed it, yes. Uh, I print, uh, I print. Oh, so you printed the manual, good, the manual. yes. Uh, okay, Boris, in la, in la plataforma, usted tiene que hacer la tarea, verdad? Ya yes. hizo la tarea, la 1.1. Yes. ¿Y tuvo algún problema? No, 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 no okay. problema. Ok, then, no problem then. No problem. Uh, ok, then, see you tomorrow, Boris. It was a pleasure and this 10 minutes of fame. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ok, have a very good night. Bye. Good night, bye. Bye.